here. I don't think I can yeah. do it mentally, physically. It's f***ing exhausting. And I'm like, I think I just need to escape. Yeah. Hey, y'all. It's me, Louis Levante. It's me, Justin Barish. And if you don't know why I said, hey, y'all, you're about to know. Because we're about to welcome one of our very special guests, one of our good friends from social media. You know him, Dakota Wright. Woo! Hey, bitches. It's Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So obviously, let's let Dakota intro who he is. Um, let Tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Um, so I just make content around food and People say that I do food reviews, but I really don't do food reviews. I just do like food hauls. Yeah, there's so and much more. I put more. my husband in them and we're just goofballs. <laughs> there's a yeah. lot to you. Like, and me and Dakota met through TikTok early, deep. Early TikTok, on, yeah. Like early TikTok. And now here we are filming a podcast together. <gasps> podcast orders. Yeah. <laughs> podcast order. What'd you get? How is it? Yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about, because... I, we learned that you're from North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So what was it like, you know, what's it like living in North Carolina compared to L.A.? Because now you're in L.A. Yeah. Um, no shade, but I cannot wait to, like, get back home. <laughs> what? I love you don't love South. it here? No. Okay, you don't love so the like, hustle and bustle of the young city? No. The nightlife? Absolutely not, honey. Being gay in the gay capital? Absolutely not, honey. <laughs> I'd rather be gay amongst a bunch of, um, you know, people in the South. Yeah. Even though it's, like, not a bad a bad place to be, you know? Yeah. Like, like there's bad ideologies and stuff in the South, but, like, I love it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like since you, like, grew up there, it's, like, home. It's, like, homey. Yeah. See, I went to school down South at the University of Alabama. Oh, so, Lord. Oh, Lord. Roll Tide. Yeah. Ugh, ugh. I'm, like, still triggered. But, like, I, like, kind of, like, I, I'm, and I grew up in Fayetteville, so, yeah. like, North Carolina. And, like, for me, like, being in the South, I feel like I just, like, couldn't be who, like, I was like I oh, was yeah. scared. Yeah. Like, do you ever feel like scared? Like, you drive like a pink Toyota Rad Four yeah. Hummer Monster truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's got like the glitter pink on it. Yeah. yeah. So like, are people like clocking their guns when you like drive by? Like, um, what's <laughs> not really. So honestly, the most compliments I get on my car is usually from straight men. No way. And they're always like the rugged kind. And they're like, hey. Yeah. yeah. And and obviously Howdy. like girls love it, you know. Yeah. Well, it's of course. usually other gays who are like, ew. Oh. Oh. Uh, like yeah. So I was and like, first like, of all, I was like straight men <laughs> yeah, yeah no, no, no no like genuine like they're yeah. just like i think they think it's just cool because i don't care yeah. yeah like it's not really so much that it's pink it's just like they're they're like that's a flex that you yeah have that much confidence to drive a pink car and they're like we wish we could do that yeah and i do real estate honey so like i'm showing up and showing houses to, like yeah. my clients and friends and stuff in a pink car and other realtors look at it sideways sometimes and they're like, like god damn it he's gonna sell that house yeah because they're like done so but it's like if i'm willing to drive around a pink car like i'll do anything to get you a house yes you know? true exactly so, wait so do you still do real estate yes now? yes yes only with like friends or family though yeah. or like somebody i've helped in the past right i don't really have a lot of free time to well you're booked in blast social media. you're booked in <laughs> yeah busy. yeah so social media versus real estate like do they compare is it like do you miss one like do you like one more than the other no not really like um you know i've done shift work like my whole yeah. life you know and real estate you're kind of like your own manager and your own boss you set your own schedule social media is like that yeah so it's there's a lot of parallels right um the income's not guaranteed like as you guys know yeah you know it's, it's yeah however much or however little you want yeah that would stress me do. out that would like send me into a spiral i need constant income i need to know when that paycheck is hitting payday yeah. is the best day and i'm like yes at 11 a.m it rolls right in and i'm like perfect. yeah well that's why perfect. i have jackson he has that w <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes. Yes. both worlds yeah and a montana life i know i know well have you ever thought about because i always see i'm obsessed with these types of people but there's like the real estate agents on tiktok who are yes. like here's my showing here's this like have you ever thought because like, you have a very dedicated following uh -huh. like do you think you could ever leverage that to like like quadruple the income oh my god i get i get like what we call like leads yeah all the time um and i i love that like social media definitely has helped um but a lot of the realtors on tiktok are like stuffy yeah they're like suit and tie like they don't understand like they're just like showing a house and like i'm they're gonna, gonna to watch it. it yeah right yeah which but like should, yeah which should be the goal but like you want the person to like it like that's your client you, yeah like yeah you want the money but like you want them to buy another home from you and you want yeah. them to refer all their people to you. Yes. Yeah. One of my like hobbies is like going on house tours, even though I can't afford half of the houses yeah. I tour, but I just go because I'm like, I love an open house and I love like looking at a kitchen. Yeah. A house with a good kitchen. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking sold. Justin yeah. would literally go on Zillow and he'd be like, let's just look at houses. And he'd be like, can we afford the million dollar house right I'm now? Like, I'm like, Louis, well, 50 million for two islands in a kitchen. Yeah. Can we do that? Like, is that, yeah. is that feasible? And well, he's like, what the 
Fuck the first no. question is, why do we need two islands? And also, why are they the size of like my kitchen now? <laughs> yeah. Well, if you guys move to North Carolina, a million dollars here would get you a whole lot there. That's what we're so y'all saying. Need to move there. But there's like nothing there. Yeah. You know? I mean, Charlotte's big. Nothing. But, it's like... but there's stuff. It's like, I feel like things on the, I mean, we're both from the East Coast. You're from North Carolina. Like, I feel like a lot of things on the East Coast are more like widespread. Yeah. Where like here, everything is so, well, LA is like not as close together as New York City, but no, it's still like yeah. a lot of things are close together. There's yeah. a lot of people here. Yeah. Where there it's like more spread, less people. Well, yeah. we've talked about like LA's not forever. Like no. it's it's not feasible to live here unless we're unless we're rich. Well, when we're rich, when we're like when billionaires, rich, best manifest. we'll yeah. like live here and live like luxury, but like honestly, no more than ten years here. I don't think I can yeah. do it mentally, physically. It's fing exhausting. And I'm like, I think I just need to escape. Yeah. Maybe not to like North Carolina, but maybe to like Orange San County. Diego. Oh, I feel like Orange County is more conservative than North Carolina. Well, listen, yeah. there's there's no problem with that. You just True. gotta show up. Show up and, and yourself. And be yourself and yes. hopefully somebody will like resonate with it. Yeah. You gotta be a part of the change. Like mm -hmm. I know that's so cheesy like cheesy, but that's why <laughs> cheesy. That's Dakota. Why. Be like, part of the change. Yeah, you gotta be a part of the change. Like yeah. if you want change. Yeah, we've talked about yeah. going other places and like we've never really talked about East Coast because we're both from there and I don't like the cold. So that's like, yeah, thing. That, I would never go up north. Hell no. Yeah. no. Did you and your husband meet in North Carolina? Yes. Um, how'd you guys meet? So we met at a Halloween party. <gasps> we met at a Halloween at a nightclub. party. Yes. Same. Yeah. Oh it my was God. It like a themed like night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he found me on Facebook. We're that age, okay? We're boomers, basically. Wait, is this f Facebook dating? Someone no, this in our last episode Facebook. talked about Facebook dating. There's Facebook dating. There's Facebook dating. No, no, no. This was like 2015, just regular old Facebook. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, messaged me on Facebook. We kind of like agreed to go out together. Mm -hmm. Met him there, and then it was just... The and now you're married. married. Yeah. Well, that's how we met. We met on yeah. Halloween at a nightclub. Not It wasn't themed, but it was just Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it you, was... were, you were dressed up. Was I was not. not. I was hungover as fuck. What were you like, dressed up as? Squid Games. The I was doing the bare minimum. Oh. Okay. I was in the green jumpsuit. I was yeah. like very simple. Yeah, it wasn't he, even mine. Yeah, he was Squid Games and our friend was the doll that like shot like laser eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Well he oh, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From Squid Games. Yeah, yeah. from Squid okay, Games. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first thing that came to mind was Megan. And I was like, I don't remember oh. her doing that. <laughs> well, and then he, yeah. he looked me up on LinkedIn. So it was Oh, you wanted to make sure he had a job. Yeah. You get yeah. Yeah, so I'm not gonna okay. date a, a scrub. Yeah. Uh, no, a scrub. A scrub. And then no. on the second day, you asked the credit score. Listen, I my man yeah. needs like the four. Was it the four? The five F's of like dating. He's got to be fit. His face must be nice. He's got to have financials. He's got to okay. have a good family, and he's got to be fr funny. Yeah. Those are the five, like, five, 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 five ups of dating. Yeah. Yeah. So LinkedIn, that's where you get all of the tea, honestly, because like you can't lie on. LinkedIn. I mean, I guess you could. You could, but that's yeah. pretty shitty to do. So yeah. I, that's where you get the facts. That's where you get the real tea. Okay. People lie on their resumes all the time. Let's be yeah. real. Fake it till you make it. If I heard somebody did a job, I'm putting it under my resume. Because I'm like, if I heard how to do it, I know how to do it. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've been a fake manager for somebody, too. Yeah, it's not like, bad. You're like <laughs> the, put me down for like a reference, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, hold on. Where did we work at again? Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> who is, is this? this? I've had lots of jobs. Send me <laughs> your resume that you yeah. faked so I know what to say to yeah. these people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like a really organic meeting you have. Yeah, with your and friend. it was, you know, like, cause I don't know how it is now, but, um, I would say like, that was like the height for like grinder. Yeah. And, stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, and so is I, that like before grinder time, how long has grinder been around? I want to say since like 2013 or 14. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm not an active grind. Well, you user. know how it is. You get like let down when yes. you're using it and like trying to like find something real. Yeah. Yeah. So it was not, I never thought Facebook would have been the app. The place, the, the place yeah. to be. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Hey, Lewis, if this doesn't work out, then I'm taking to Facebook. I'm <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Stop right there. Why would it not work out? Do any of y'all have bad credit? No. Uh, no, we have great. <laughs> we just got um, Amex Gold together. Oh, we are that. good. Yeah, yeah. We so, we're so gay. We like got I'm them at like, the same time. Platinum, yeah, like, we're like, lounges. Yeah. 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 Wait, so you guys have been together for seven years? You're coming up on eight, right? Yeah, eight. For the past three years, I've been telling everybody we're coming up on our eighth year because I lose track. That's crazy. You know, like eight years yeah. in the gay world is like, it's like 50 40 years, years in, in the world. world. Yeah. <laughs> That's so it's like 
<laughs> Wait, you don't know that? No, I was just, it was funny how you both like did different numbers, but they were both larger. Numbers. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's no. like 40. He's like, it's like yeah, 50. Yeah, yeah, Because <laughs> you know, like, it is. people joke about lesbians pulling up with a U haul. First date. We do it too. We, I put my yeah. loofah right in that shower oh, as fuck. my first night over. I have never, because he's my first boyfriend, last uh-huh. too. He'll be my last. And okay. I, shit you not first of all we weren't even dating yet and this man was like i'm sleeping in your bed i'm like we're just friends why are you sleeping in my bed he's like i sleep in all my friends beds i'm like i sleep like i'm not a whore not like that i love assertiveness i'm like i'm i'm in here and at the time i didn't even like see him like that i was just like i'm in the bed why am I on the couch? I'm not a peasant. You put him on the couch? Yes. Yeah. I was like, you're sleeping on the couch. You're not. That is my bed. If you don't have an extra bed or you're not willing to let somebody sleep in your bed, then they can't stay the night. We're not Thank couch. you. We're not couch Thank people. you. But see, I didn't invite him. He invited himself. Oh. So like, I didn't have the tools necessary so? to have him sleep there, but he yeah. decided I'm sleeping here. I'm putting a, a night bag there. He that one might be all on you then. You know what? You're welcome. It. Yeah. You should be lucky for this. <laughs> To oh. be in your fucking bed. Okay? Oh, whoa. Anyway. Wait, can I ask? Oh, yeah. Um, did you guys have sex on the second day or the first day? When did we? No, no. Okay, so I'm our, like... Somewhere with it. I'm no, going somewhere with this. We, our, have, we have a weird... Our <laughs> relationship started as friends. So, uh-huh. like, we were not, like, hooking up. Like, we were, like, just going out, and then I would just happen to be, like, I'm in his bed. Yeah. And yeah. then, like, one night I felt kooky, and I'm like, can you just, like, cuddle me? Like, can you just, oh, like, hold God. me like a baby? I love the assertiveness. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it was... He, no, no, no. Wait, He's Justin saying, is giving Dakota, and Lewis, you're giving Jack. We, we literally said that. Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I am Dakota. Like, he knows exactly, boop, boop, boop. Like, yeah. he wants what, and that's me. I'm like, this man cannot dress himself. I'm like, please. But, okay, first of all, this is what he said to me. I'm laying facing the opposite way on my side of the bed, okay. first of all. Like, I had a side. And I was okay. like, I like the left side. Okay. He, I hear him, and he goes, hey. And I was like, hey, what's up? And he goes, can you cuddle me like a baby? <laughs> Not like a baby. Like a baby. Did you make a little baby voice? No, I was just kind of like he like nuzzles in. Yeah, I was like, come Aww. on, get, get cozy. But like, no, then like, you know, drunkenly, it's, we were just. Your grandma watches this. Yes, yeah, she oh, does. Hey, Granny. Hey, now, Mom, shut your ears. Mom, shut your ears here because Fast I forward. blame it on me. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, yeah. one night was really drunk. I kind of low key a little bit blacked down. Then suddenly we were in a closet, and I was like, up, oh. oh it, this is seven happening. Minutes in heaven. Seven minutes in down. heaven. Stop. <laughs> in <laughs> a closet. In a closet. In our at, friend's at a party. It was a nice closet. And it didn't was... you just come out of the closet? Yeah, it was shortly after that. And oh, I put him yeah. right back in. And he put it. He was like, "Get in there." So I lost a ring. I was oh, like, no. <laughs> I couldn't find it. I was oh, like, no. I was a mess when we walked out. Two of our friends yeah. walked in and were like, "What's going on?" We're like, yeah. "Nothing. Get out." <laughs> so yeah. I guess technically no. Like, okay. not on the second date. Like, I think we had to like work up to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I think is more organic. I'm not gonna hook up with you on the first date for yeah. me. Yeah. But I know you. Yeah. You were like, say, I was gonna say I tried Jackson like the first time I stayed over there, which was like within a week of knowing him. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, we're not doing this. And that's when I knew that he was like the one. He's a good like, person. Yeah. 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 He's but not- at first it threw me for a loop. Like I was like, you know, my ugly, my too big, like, you know, cause yeah. people just yeah. sleep all around. And so I was like, what is this man doing? That's like gay culture is yeah. like, if you're not going to hook up, then like something's wrong with you. You're like, oh, oh my God. Which like for me, I don't fit into like hookup culture. I don't like it. It yeah. stresses me out. I get like scared. So, like, it was, like, very nice to be, like, with, like, my friend yeah. who, like, then, like, transferred into, like, my boyfriend because now it's, like, our relationship is still, like, best friends. Like, you're yeah. my best friend. Yeah. But now we're culture just, like, wasn't romantic. our thing. Like, yeah. I, I gave it a whirl. But that was, like, yeah. it was, like, I didn't know him yet, so I gave it a whirl on Grinder, And I was, like, oh. oh, God, I hate this. I felt the way when, like, Jackson said no to you was the way I felt when people were saying yes to me. I was, like, uh. oh, I feel like I have to look a certain way. If I don't, I feel yeah. gross. But after I do this, I feel even worse. Yeah. yeah. So it just wasn't for me. And then that came yeah. out. And I was, like, maybe this was my pipeline. Yeah. It was, like, you didn't need to be hooking up with all these people. You mm-hmm. could have just found the right person yeah. at the right time. So seven years later now, now y'all are doing food content. Yeah. Does he's Jackson... Famous. Yeah, he, yeah, he's he's famous. Did he... When you first started, like, blowing up, like, was he, like, yes, yes, yes? Or... Cause he like works a separate job and like yeah. does his own thing. So like, yeah. is he like your social media boyfriend? Like, is he like, does um, he like it as so much he, as you? So he likes it. Yeah. I would just say that he doesn't like, like posting. Yeah. He's more of like a passive consumer of social media gotcha. versus like, I guess where we would be like producers yeah. of content. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he's a good sport. He's in like all your, oh, yeah. anytime, and he's funny too. Yeah. 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 Anytime yeah. I'm like, Hey, this would make, you know, much more sense if there were two people or like, 
you say this all the time, come get in this video. Yeah. Like, I'm so down for it. Yeah. The only thing that's weird is like people like, especially in the food halls, try to like compare us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And it's like, we get that like people have their favorites because mm -hmm. like I have my favorites with like Course. duos, you know. Yeah. But it's like, it's really not a competition, and like it, we've always just like b like channeled each other's energy. Yeah. It's yeah. Weird when people try to like break the energy. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, want, people like want separate to root it. for something or fight against something. I think people prey on the downfall of couples a lot yeah. on social media, especially because like... Oh, don't even get me started on that. Well, I think too, it's like you said, when you guys do it together, it it's right. Like you yeah. guys should be doing these things together, but then you have standalone content where like sometimes mm -hmm. you're just doing it yourself and I love that. Especially yeah. when you just like react, like I can see it'll say Dakota and then there's like a video of something and I'm like, uh -huh. oh, Dakota's stitching this with something so watchy. <laughs> that it's where you just stare into the camera and you're like, yeah. hey girl, hey, where'd you get that? Can I get my socks back? And I'm like, yeah. what? I, I mean, he had five one. pairs. So I always try to do it on the ones where somebody's got to watch it again. Yes. And they're like, wait, what? Yeah. And then it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. I have a question. Okay. Who's your favorite, me or Lewis? I don't have one yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I like that answer. I mean, it's going to happen, but I don't it, have one it yet. Will. I don't. Th I don't think so. Here's how I think this is gonna go down. Well, here's okay. how you everyone two, likes me better. You two are gonna be like this because you guys are very similar, and uh -huh. I think me and Jackson are gonna be in the corner. Like there go the princesses. Oh, there one thousand percent. There trotting. go our little girls. Wait, yeah, <laughs> we're trotting away. Yeah. Okay, so so now he's in content. So now he does it, which I yeah. feel like is kind of like us. Like you kind of pushed me to do content, but now I kind of like do it myself. Yes. Which like we also get that comparison. Well, there was a moment where my like fo like uh followers hated lewis because yeah. wow. i would craft this story about like an evil imp like day in a life of like someone who like dates an influencer uh -huh. and i would just make these like lies about him like oh he's making me i did it on purpose yeah yeah oh my god oh, of course okay. it's like funny was it like a fake pov yeah okay it's like and i was like getting attacked by people who are like ill you dirty rap blah 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 and it's like and how it, can i minimize this? it's like justin's funnier we like Ju and i'm like guys we're still they're like, dating like, like lewis shouldn't even have that many followers i was like whoa no yeah and i was whoa, like whoa, oh my whoa, God. yeah so, we get stuff like that all the yeah, time yeah that led to me doing the duets where i react to justin's like fake lies and i call out the lies because i'm yeah. like oh wait they're both funny haha -ha. and i was like yeah. first of all you're a child don't be mean to me. Yeah. I will bully you. I won't bully you. I will Stop bullying me. the children. I will, I, yeah. I will. You'll, yeah. You don't have a problem with no, bullying I'll a bully child. Everyone on TikTok. <laughs> I had to watch it because I. Especially if they bully, like, if, if they come for you first. Like, if you start it, I'm going to finish it. You're a clapback yeah. king. We were talking about this. He was like, I don't know what a clapback is. And I was like, oh, it's yeah. what Drew Afwala does, but Dakota does it too. Yeah. She, she's the queen, by the way. And like, Amazing. she, um, you know, I don't have a way with my words mm -hmm. like she does. So, like, be funny and yes like, and yeah, read the, them the filth quick. yeah you know, like i'm funny and quick but like she compares these guys to like cartoon characters cartoon characters and i don't even have the capacity in my brain to like make the connection that quick no. she's so good so that's why i just put their picture up yeah and then i'm just like oh okay this is what mm -hmm. you said this is what you look like yeah cool and then you just read them the filth yeah and People in the comments do it. Yeah. Yeah. The people in the comments will come for you yeah. fast. And they're yeah. quicker th than me. Like, they're funnier than me. I'm like, you guys should start posting. Oh, my God. <laughs> Does that happen to you guys where you post something and, like, you laugh at certain things that you're doing? And mm -hmm. then you go back in the comments and people are pointing out something you didn't even notice. And then you yeah. notice it and you're like, wow, that's hysterical. Yeah. That happens to us all the time. Yeah. Like, I don't I know. Like, ism. Like, you have, like, an ism that somebody points out and you're like, oh, I never know I did that. And that's I guess how funny. Four to Drink came about. <gasps> yeah. Literally. Four yeah. to were, Drink. I had no... I genuinely had no idea that was a problem. We were just talking about this because we, like, we debated it. And I was like, he, I was like, oh, like Dakota and Jackson say like four to drink. And I was like, but which I say too. And, and I didn't even realize I say four to wait, drink. Wait, before you knew. Yes. Yes. See, I'm like waiters, four to drink. I'll have this. Waiters, servers, they all say it. Yeah. Well, I was then questioning it because I was a server and I was like, uh -huh. how did I ask people what they wanted to drink? And I was like. Because I would be like, oh, and your drink? And I'm like, no, that doesn't sound no. right. I think I would say. You say, for to drink. and for, yeah. and for and to drink. Like, oh, shit, that sounds so right coming out of my mouth. It's, like, it's so wrong, like, yeah. dramatically. Yeah. We know, have this, like, aha, like, uh -huh, like, oh, my God. We, yeah. And we're like, hey, y'all, for to drink. And now we're like, oh, oh, my God, we say it. Yeah. Maybe it's our brand. No, Dakota's a trailblazer. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, um, <laughs> I uh, filed a trademark for it, so it's going to be mine. Love. And now it's your Twitter and handle, too. Yeah, and then I'll um, I'll license it to you guys. No, um, oh, well, that's how that works. I don't know how that works. We'll take some merch. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have yeah, all. No, yeah. for free though, for free. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not yeah, paying. Yeah, well, on the on the topic, <laughs> on the topic, of, like, <laughs> paying for shit out here. On the topic, of, like four to drink. So you obviously do the food orders. I wanted yeah. to get in. Did you? We came up with like our big three for um, restaurants. Like you know how 
your rising sign, your moon, your sun. So we're like, yeah. like what restaurants represent us? So I'm going to say mine and I want to know what yours would be. Okay. So my, um, my big three are, hold on, let me find it. Oh, and shit. you know, I'm judging. Yeah. Oh, what okay. was mine? I, okay. I'll go first. Yeah, you go first. My big three fast food is I'm a, I'm a Chipotle son. Okay. Because I like things a certain way. I and okay. Chipotle, like you can't like Chipotle's a control freak because they don't let you serve. Yeah. They give you the same amount. I'm a control freak. I'm like, I like things done a certain way. Okay. My moon is in Starbucks because it's pretty, it's expensive, it's bougie. Okay. Me. And then my rising is Taco Bell because my rising is Scor um is Scorpio. And I feel like they're very like hit or miss. Like they will like destroy you or be like super like reserved and i feel like taco bell will either destroy your insides or not and you never really know so that's me okay okay, okay. mine okay. I like your list. yeah yeah i like your list i have mine i had to get it on my phone okay so my son is an olive garden i'm an olive garden son am i i don't know why i just felt like i resonated with olive garden like when you see me you're like he's an olive garden like he is yeah. like unlimited breadsticks baby he gets the accent i'm italian but i'm yeah. not actually like looking like it but like i still have the the isms and the the accent and all that stuff yeah then my i'm a carvel moon because carvel ooh, ooh like a carvel chill. cake yeah from the grocery store like super chill oh my god i didn't think of that he's really thought about this yeah, yeah. like a chilled dessert because i'm a gemini moon i feel like they're very like yeah they could go one way or the other but they're still like kind of quiet and your moon is like your reserved part okay my, <laughs> this wasn't my choice but i get it my rising, apparently, according to Justin, is Long John Silver's. Oh, my God. <laughs> Long yes. John Silver's is so good. No. Um, and there, there's nowhere. There's not a Long John Silver's near us. Yeah. Like, we have to drive, like, an hour to get to one. I don't think I have one near me either. Oh, my God. All <laughs> tastes the same. Really? The fish, the chicken, all of it tastes the same, but it's so good. So... I just have to share this. So, yeah. if you go through the drive through you can ask for, like, a box of crumblies. Uh-huh. And it's basically just like fallen pieces of like breading and stuff. Oh, I would love and that. And then I just dump tartar sauce on it and eat it with a fork. <gasps> that it's sounds like so a good. So good. It's so good. I love. I love just like fried. Like oh I my love God. the fried onions you can get like in a in a can. I yeah. Eat those. They're just so good. So oh, nice. I want to go to Long John Silver's now. You know they don't have those. Here one thing yeah. I don't. I don't know if I trust fish from fast food. I like mine. You need to try Long John Silver's. I'm telling you, it's so good. We'll go, we'll okay. go. We'll do a, we'll do a little we food do, drink. I want to be in one. I yeah, would, I don't know what I would say. You might have to feed me lines. That's okay. But... Everyone we get with, they're like, I need you to come up with a line, and I'm like, it's really not that hard. Like, what are you gonna order? And then we like break it down. Okay, and gotcha. You, you guys have also like they used to be super quick, and now they're so intricate that they're even funnier because like yeah. they're like you guys we're read, in like, on the joke now. You guys yeah, read, like three lines, and I'm like yeah. Did they memorize that? I don't yeah, even know we what they don't. <laughs> Both the time, like, I'll I'll go into it with, like, something I want to say, and then I've forgotten it. Yeah. Or change what I'm going to order, and I'm, like, sitting there, and Jackson's, like, counting me down. I'm, like, okay, like, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. And and I get it. Yeah. And yeah. he's, like, babe, we didn't even practice that. Like, that's not even what you're People supposed to People want bloopers, and we have none. Yeah. Like, yeah. I literally would share them, but we have no bloopers. Yeah. yeah. That's good. You guys no, are, like, that's, perfectionists. You guys are very professional. Yeah. It, we just nail it the first time. Yeah. For the fast food kings. He's yeah. bragging. He's bragging. I have to know, if you're on death row, what would be your last meal? <sighs> I need to die multiple times. Okay. Because <laughs> I can't just choose They'll water. kill you, revive you, you'll eat again. Okay. Kill you, revive you, eat again. Okay. Perfect. Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Gotta have something to drink. Okay. Bubbly. Um, Not a Coke? No. What's wrong with you? You're Dr. from the South. Dr. Pepper and Cheerwine are like my top two. Have y'all ever had a Cheerwine? No. Yeah. Uh, did you like it? It's okay. It's tons of sugar. It's so good, though. It's like that's like your lips stick together because there's so much sugar. Oh, in God. It. I have so to try good. it. And I'm going to like order all this stuff and be like, Dakota told me this. Yeah. Like <laughs> um, but Diet Dr. Pepper and then I'm going to cookout. I don't know if y'all have ever been to a cookout. I love cookout. Well, I'm going to have them bring me cookout. Yeah. Everything on the menu. And then I'm probably going to eat. I don't know. I don't even know. I got so much stuff. Ice cream. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, I got it. Um, cake frosting, cream cheese cake frosting that's been in the fridge. Oh, yeah, I'll God. eat the whole thing. Yum. I would yeah. eat the whole thing. Do you like, see, yeah, do you see why I need to those die? Those poor time? people who will kill you and then they'll have to clean up whatever you <laughs> out after. Yeah, well, you, all that processed that's messy. frosting is gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I literally, <laughs> God, I also too, um, because we had talked to you before you came on, like, 
obviously you're a clapback king. You do all the food orders. Like, is there any comments like you feel like have gotten to you sometimes that like, I feel like you've started to like address things more, which I personally yeah. love. And I've also started to do it where like, we pull back the curtain a little bit. Yeah. Like first you yeah and second like here's why i do what i do yeah yeah so um comics about my husband's cleft lip mm-hmm. he doesn't care yeah. you know like because he's dealt with it his whole life yeah but like for me it like makes me want to fight yeah yeah because mm-hmm. i'm like i mean if somebody has a zit on their face or something you just don't walk up to them and be like well i mean you could just walk up to them and be like you have a zit on your face right yeah <laughs> I mean, what do you want them to do about it wipe it off right so like that sends me over the edge and then um there was a point last summer when i had gained like a little little bit of weight mm-hmm. like you know the eating disorder like i have a lot of issues with that mm-hmm. and people started pointing it out in a video when we were on the beach mm-hmm. doing a food haul and i'm just like you guys cannot comment stuff like that yeah. and so really it's just like the weight stuff yeah i i went through something like that during quarantine because i also struggle with eating disorders like i've luckily i think quarantine i healed really well from because you're confined like what else can you do you and have I think, to <laughs> i had yeah. to like learn how to be yeah. around food constantly yeah. so i'm like it's all we could do and I remember when I started filming videos, people, as time went on, as I started gaining a following, would say, like, I would only show my face, really, in my first videos, because it was just the green screen, it was just my face. So they'd mm-hmm. be like, ooh, like, you're gaining a little weight. And I remember one video I had to, like, flip up the camera and be like, well, I filmed down here, first of all. Yeah. Second, even if I was gaining weight, like, why would you say that? Yeah, but yeah. why did you even, like, need to prove, like, like, like who are these people? Somebody. Yeah. You know, and I there's ways you can say it, like a bless your heart southern way you know like you look healthy you're glowing like usually things like that mean that like you're taking care of yourself and like not all weight is bad weight exactly i would much rather just say somebody say like you you're glowing good yeah yeah something you look plump right (laughs) fillers you know yeah 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 Yeah. not you're fat yeah exactly because like there's like ways to like yeah like you said there's ways to go about saying things but like again there's you don't need to critique my body no you don't i do it enough honey yeah it's taking everything in me right now look we're being honest to just sit in the middle of you guys because like i have so much insecure like thoughts of like my my practicals and like everything like that so like no we love you i know Thank you. Oh, I like to like this was something like, <laughs> like I feel like I whenever I see you talk about it online like it helps me even more because yeah. it's like I look at you and like when I like I'm the same way like I'm sitting here and I'm like but I have to, oh honey I'll I have to my, learn yeah but like a lot of men yeah. especially because it's like destigmatized in men to like not talk about our bodies and like the way we feel like I feel like hearing you talk about it is like it helps me even more because I've mm-hmm. learned as time goes on like what is it June this is like around when a couple of years ago I experienced my eating disorder. So I feel like I, it's like learned trauma and you yeah, remember absolutely. it. So it's like, yeah. whenever I get to hear you talk about it, it's like, we're getting through it because we're open about it. Yeah. And like, that's super powerful. Is that why you like started like food content? It, well, no. Was it like something like cope or is it like just like yeah. an outlet? Well, now I think it's like a coping outlet. But yeah. before it was really just a joke. Yeah. Right. Like there were these girls that did these videos. Mm-hmm. They didn't really have like quips or anything that they added in. They weren't um, funny. They weren't quick. They're Yeah. I mean, right. They had good food, you know, right. but like. Um, but anyone can eat. Yeah. Like, and can we you make just, it funny. You can't make it funny. Yeah. Like we just That's did that it. video with Burt Kreischer and mm-hmm. he did great. Love yeah. him to death. He's hilarious. But he's getting clocked several times in the comments people are like i've never seen like a true comedian nervous yeah. to like you know because what we do it, is different it doesn't yeah. translate it doesn't yeah. translate like you can be super like a funny stand-up but can you tell oh, a he's joke hysterical month? and he yeah. was funny in the video like i was dying i was like right. i can't wait to post this yeah yeah um but and he'd be I, dragged and he did great but like people were just like it's different seeing him you know try to do what you guys do mm-hmm. you know right and be quick yeah i could never yeah. do stand-up I, oh my god I, me either because like i think we're the same way where it's like yeah. stand up is you have to be quick and you have to have that immediate knee-jerk answer where yeah. i think if someone like heckled me i'd be like first of all <laughs> get up here and do it yourself and second of all i'm leaving like, <laughs> but I'm honestly just... that would be funny though i think yeah. there's i think it's a superpower that like being gay like we can make things funny that like yeah normal people can't we could say like the f slur and people won't bat an eyelash but somebody else says that we're like what was that yeah no <laughs> yeah. literally like being gay like you get away with a lot of stuff like things i say at work i'm like oh my god people would literally be fired for a like, i say but people think it's funny also i'll like read someone and they like think it's funny but i'm like i'm actually just being 
Like yeah, I'm like yeah, just yeah. being like rude to you, but like they're like, oh, oh my god, oh my god, you're so funny, and I'm yeah, like, and like oh, I'm oh. literally like we're fighting, but okay, go off. Literally, bless your heart. I'm praying for you. Bless your and heart. I think you're just being the sweetest thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. Southern things. Bless yeah. your heart sends me. I, yeah. I I I I love that first because I'm like that's a like but nicely. Yeah. Are there other? We have like a fun game actually. Oh, actually, oh. bless your heart because. Oh. I could talk to you forever, okay. and I think if you're ever back in LA, we need to have you back on because we are oh. at our time. No, I'm. I'm. No, can we do like a rapid is. fire, like tutor boot, real fast? Yeah, go for it. Okay, we're gonna play tutor boot with okay. you. You've played it before. Well, you know there ain't nothing fast in this brain. Okay, yeah. let's go ahead. <laughs> tutor boot, Southern things. Let's do it, rapid fire. Um, yes, ma'am. No, sir. Tutor boot. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're. Um. Yeah. Be you're supposed to be. Oh. My bad. Okay, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I can say you're in talk. Sweet tea. Toot or boot? Boot. You don't I, like sweet tea? Southern hot take. Boot. I hate it. Unpack it after. Oh, Unpack it after. Yeah, man. Okay. Cowboy boots. Cowboy boots. Toot or boot? Boot. Yeah. Okay, same. Yeah. Trucks. Toot or boot? Toot. Toot. I yeah, like a truck, too. Truck. Fill it up with some water, swim around in it, yeah. like a little pool, okay. drivable pool. Um, Monogram letters. Toot or boot? I'm tooting it. No! Yeah. Fuck the I monogram like letter. Tunian Burke. That's okay. monogram with like a Disney character. A little Tory something. Birch. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Um. One more. Grits. Tudor boot. Grits. Grits. Boot. Boot. My dad. I'm biscuits grit. and gravy all day. I hate grits. Chicken just got it. it too. I saw it. it looked so. Yeah. Good. Oh my god, it was so good. Yeah. yeah uh, it was good. Okay. Well, that's it. Let's wrap it up, babe. Yes, I will take it home. But Dakota, it's been great having you on. I want you before we go plug anything you have. Obviously, okay. we'll have you back on another time because yes. I could be keep talking. We could literally go all day. We could. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, honey, I have like 5 million usernames on Instagram. It's at Dakota Wright. TikTok is at Print Fairy. Twitter is at For to Drink. And YouTube is at Dakota Wright. Period. And that's on period. I have one and I'm like, I wish I had five at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Dakota, for coming on our podcast. And if you enjoyed this episode, uh, episode, what the f episode? Hello. Episode. <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. And as always, you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and of course, if you're watching, on YouTube. Um, and that's really it. Yes. That's and it. That third wheel. Yeah. Did you have fun? I did. I loved the third wheel. I enjoyed having you as a third wheel. Yeah. All right. Love it. See you guys later. Bye. Slay. Slay. That was good. That, that was, was good. good. I loved it. I, uh, my cotton mouth were being hungover so bad. No. No, that was a gr that was great. <laughs> that was perfect.